<laughs> so, how have you enjoyed the weekend so far? It's been really good. Um, I arrived today actually, um, and I feel like I've missed so much, which is a good sign because everybody's been banging on about how amazing yesterday was. I watched a lot of the um, Annie Mac and um, Pete Tong and uh, Martin Garrick stuff from last night. Um, I watched it like at home. I sound very on message, don't I? Watch on the red button. Now. Uh, but it was really, really good. And then today I've seen Pharrell, which was incredible. And um, St. Raymond on the BBC Introducing Stage, which is where, where I've spent a lot of my time. And it's just been so good, yeah. Doing little interviews, I had, just had a little chat with Example, um, KTB, because we're doing a show tonight at 11. So yeah, just bits and pieces of that. Has there been any other highlights from the Introducing Stage, if that's... Yeah, um, so I introduced a really amazing singer-songwriter earlier on who's come up through BBC Introducing West Yorkshire, she's from Leeds. Um, called Carrie and she was just phenomenal. She's going to be massive, in my humble opinion. Um, Captain the Bottle Men are kind of wrapping it all up, who we love on 10 to Midnight, so I'll definitely try and catch that. And who else is great? Um, yeah, St. Yeah, Saint Raymond um, and Dahlia, who I think are play, playing like about now. So, Mark, you are keeping me from Dahlia, but I will forgive you for that. Is there anyone else you're looking forward to then? Yeah, loads of people actually. I mean, tomorrow's just huge isn't it basically it kind of we were just saying that the main stage is a, a stage of headliners like nobody is kind of a smaller yeah. act really um but i really want to see coldplay because i think i've always heard they put on an amazing live show and i've never got to see them live so um i know my partner in crime phil taggart's like i don't know i'm a bit like not bothered i'm like whatever i'm front row see you later hey uh, what have you thought of glasgow so far then it's gorgeous i love it a bit my my other half actually lived here for, like, came here for university, so there's big love in our house for Glasgow anyway. Um, but this is only like my second or third visit, and we were up here last week actually for the academy and stuff. Um, yeah, I think I might move to Byers Road, that's my fave at the moment. The charity shops, cannot fault them. The clothes shops, cannot fault them. Um, yeah, it's just such a nice city, and everybody seems really, really excited about the event as well. And that seems like it would go without saying, but I, I don't think that's always the case. People just seem really, really up for it. And um, a few of the artists actually have said that like, everyone's so chilled out. It's just such a nice feeling when you go out there and people are sort of like lying back on the field and just like really, really cool about it. And I, yeah, I just think that makes it like you can have whoever you want on the stage, but if people, there's the right atmosphere in the crowd and it, it just feels really nice, yeah.